All right, guys, you're home the wall, Messy Miracle Bench. Hey, it's Saturday night in New York City. Saturday night, right? It's all right for fighting, but here we got uh, two loco yoko envious of your hole in the wall, non Crooklyn. You got uh, the little puppet known as uh, Red Hook, who's not a Red Hook, and you got Cupcake, uh, who's CK187. Here they are, uh, the puppet trying to convince everybody that Snake Radio is his. Uh, best technician and he did the 148 he's talking on now and he's got the sammy delta m2 mic listen to how backgroundy how high tinny and shitty this boy sounds on that m2 bass mic I can't believe Cupcake made the first distinction. To call yourself a CBA shop, you must have a qualified, know what they doing, technician. <laughs> the king. Call reverse polarity protection. Usually when I do it, when a jack come into the radio, you see a monster side Xena, baby. You know, not one of these guys heard my voice today, and they're talking to me and about me. I love it. Restoration. He likes restoring old stuff. He restores stuff. He's very good at restoring, very good at decorations. But, uh, you know, his, his radio, his interior tune ups and alignments need some improvement. Hey, uh, Larry, tell CK who built your radio seat, uh, Larry. 
You remember, Larry used to be seven pounds, eight pounds in this radio, stepping on everybody at LES. Listen to Larry on the Snake Radio now. Hey, just get it on frequency, guys. Yeah, but he used to be a 7-9 on this radio in which he received three, four pounds over you, Cupcake. Keep that in motion. Notion. I never said anything messed up about Snake. I like Snake. I like Snake's work. I like Snake as an individual. Yeah, you, you and your Birdman buddy uh, tried to start something two and a half years ago between me and Snake. And me and Suave, we laughing our ass off me at A22 about all this shit. $5 for that back hat with the singing board and free shipping. That is pretty good deal, right? Yo, CK, Larry only pays two hundred seventy-five dollars for that radio. Five with the wide open tails and the clarifier and all that. Roger. Yo, CK, he only pays two hundred seventy-five dollars for that radio. That's it. It's worth it because it has this radio going inside. basic things to do that I've told you about and taught you in my first two channels, soldering the chassis ground screws. A lot of shops won't do it. As a matter of fact, they only stick them in hand tight. So a couple of weeks radio later, the, the, a couple of weeks later, the radio could come back. Uh, yeah. Snake Radio that's got these two guys out here talking bad about me day in and day out. You learn something new every day when you listen. Well, Snake never did anything for the little pup of the bird man here that he did for Suave. If either one of these two guys think that they sound like Suave's couple of radios that Snake did, uh, uh, uh.
Well, he's using a solder sucker and he's changing caps and, uh, wow, he don't touch the board. Yo, these cats are funny. Because uh, I ain't got no roaches, no bugs, and no bed bugs down here, man. So I, you know, I find that hard to believe. But hey, it is a good story. Maybe somebody will believe you. No name. I'm gonna say his name. Q-Tip. His name's handle was Q-Tip. That was a uh, motherfucker which used to suck his dick. Hey, Q-Tip. I notice it's a guy that's not out here to defend himself. <laughs> All the guys with baby roach in the meter was keying the microphone, allegedly. Huh? No, and he'll send a video to you, and then he'll tell you how much he's gonna pay for everything. If you, if you don't want him to work on it, uh, then he'll ship it the radio back to you. That'd be no problem. And that's a real business man. Can't knock him. Get what you pay for. I would like, I ain't gonna work one, I would like one day I would fuck with him. Too. Pay attention. His name was Cupid, yo. He was out there just chucking cows. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is your problem, yo? And we went through all this back and forth, and he finally came out and said, he had a fucking roach in the meter. He's trying to kill the, kill the roach with the needle. And that was from Richie, right? That was from Richie, is that correct? Yeah. Matter of fact, that was... What you mean they can't make it up? They just did, dude. <laughs> Not, not, yo, not even that. Not even, let's skip that part. 
Just for the hell of it, this workbench here, this nice metal desk with the wood top. Uh, this came from Q-Tip, boys, just so there's no uh, discrepancy. I know, I know that cat right there. Well, you do hear all the people's radios that I do day in and day out all week here. You hear everybody out here to try to stay back and you up corroborate, you support, you would say, yeah, this is true, right? <laughs> It's called Bobby's PM Electronics, to be honest with you. And uh, Birdman is part owner of that. That's what I've been supplying and enforcer. Uh, Mr. Cupcake's not too good at playing dumb. I love my video gates from the power of the video gate. ADD he suffer from.
I know the man told both of y'all in video game precisely in case you don't remember. He came back three times because he was trying to do everything himself till he got fed up and mad and said, now I'm going to pay you to do everything. And that was time number four. And you hear the difference. He's so happy. Look what he invested in. Look what he's investing in. <laughs> Silly wabbits.
Joe Sainz, Nate Wood, Jensen, 